Hi there, Denny here from Disney's Hollywood Studios. Listen, it's lunchtime. I'm hungry and I hope that you are too. I think it's time for a counter service lunch and I think I'll meet a friend. What do you think? I hope you're hungry. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's head back to ABC Commissary. All right, I'm back here at ABC Commissary. I'm hungry, you're hungry, and I've I'm friend. hungry. Oh, are you hungry? Hi, Rhino. Hello. Are you hungry too? Oh, I'm always hungry. Excellent. Oh, I'm so excited. My friend Rhino is here. Yes. And Rhino, um, how long has it been since you've been to ABC Commissary? I think it was like maybe when the 50th was going on. Uh, I feel like because I came here and I did one of the like snacks, like yes. when that first started. Yeah. So that would have been like at least a year, two years. <laughs> yeah, that's two years now, I think. 71, yeah. 20, 21. Yeah, yes, so it's been yeah, a while. Yeah. Okay, it's, it's been, been a while. It's been a little yeah. bit. It's been a little bit for me too. I had the Halloween snacks last year and I did a video reviewing those. I and didn't, I didn't even get that far. Yep, and they're all the same snacks this year. So we're just gonna have food. So I hope you're hungry. Oh, always, yeah. And off we go. We're gonna have a little bit of lunch and we're taking you with us. Rhino, have you um, looked at the menu at all? No, I probably should before I get to the restaurant. <laughs> Same here. I've looked at the menu. I'm not 100% what I want, but there's like an international flair. That's what they like to call it. Oh, okay. So in a studio, Art Deco studio atmosphere. I always, well, so, uh, not, not to be like braggy, have oh, you been uh, to the real ABC commissary? I have not. I think I have. I well, I don't know if I have actually a line. I, at Walt Disney Studios, like yeah. the, in California, yeah. Yeah. there is a commissary there, and I thought it was ABC Commissary. I could be wrong. I have but... been on the studio lot, and I okay. have not been to a commissary. Oh, you haven't been to the cafeteria? No, I haven't. Lived, but... I haven't, for real. But it is funny because I always think so. This is modeled after like a studio person's break room. Like, yes, exactly. Yeah. Welcome to the break room. Yeah. <laughs> And we have shrimp tacos. Yeah. Have some. I see um, there's a menu item closer to the register that's a part of the uh, celebrating um, yes. the Hispanic heritage. Yes. Part. And so I'm like, I don't know what that is. Ooh, we'll uh, have to check that out. Time. We'll check it out. Rhino, what did you get? I got the chicken club sandwich. This is $12.99. It's marinated chicken, bacon, provolone, avocado ranch, lettuce, and tomato served on a toasted brioche bun. And I went with the um, arugula and farro salad. Fabulous. That sounded lovely. I'm actually going to take a little bite of that first, if that's okay. Please do. Is that, there's a lot of farro. A lot of arugula. This is a pretty decent portion for the side salad, I feel like. Ooh. Oh, for sure. It's pretty good. It's a chilled salad, just oh. so people are aware. Yeah, I feel mm. like sometimes we get salad, we're like room temperature, what is it? Yeah. Chilled. Um, the the farro's good. Mentally, for me, if you're adding quinoa or farro into something, I'm always like, I'm so healthy. Because <laughs> it's one of those like super grains, right? Yeah. So I'm always like, yeah, I like it. You know, But it is pretty good. It's a little, little citrusy. It's got a lot of the dressing on it, um, but... It's got a little bit of craisins in it. There's some, I think these are walnuts, maybe. Oh. Um, but no, it's a pretty hearty salad. So I'm pretty excited for that. I'm going to do a bite of my sandwich here. Okay. I'm not going to lie to you. My hand grazed it a moment ago, and it feels very cold. 
Oh, so, my stars. And I will tell you the cheese, if you want to take a look there, the cheese is also like... It's just sitting there. Doesn't this look like a kid's toy a little bit? <laughs> like one of the, like, it's oh, plastic. I made this in the downstairs kitchen. And yes. you're like, did you, Brianna? Bless Brianna. <laughs> Okay, so first bite of the sandwich, I feel like it wasn't it wasn't like cold cold. It wasn't one of those okay. where you're like, Am I gonna get sick from eating it? It's that cold. It was um it was okay, it was a little warm. Um honestly the tomato in it is fresh, which is nice. The avocado ranch, I'm some I feel like there could be more of it because it's it's good. It's nice, I like it. Um it's basically like kind of the only flavoring here in the sandwich. Um you know, there's a good portion of bacon on top of this. It's a, it feels a little, it feels a little basic. Mm. But um, you know, honestly, sometimes you're eating at a theme park. I feel like sometimes you're like, I just want that sandwich or I just want that thing. So I don't, I don't hate it. I, I don't, I don't have like a final consensus. So I'm not, you know, I'm gonna have to keep going with it. But it's not bad. <laughs> not bad. <That's> just, yeah. <laughs> All right. So I got the cork carnitas tacos. I got what I was most interested in. It was either between your chicken club and these cork carnitas tacos. So I'm excited that I went ahead and went for them. Um, you've got some pork carnitas, of course, going on. So you've got lots of pork. You've got pickled onions, avocado salsa verde. You've got black beans on the side that have some queso fresco. And I'm sorry, queso fresco is the thing you should add to everything. That's one of my favorite cheeses right now. Oh, I agree. Oh, so good. And you've got some um, Spanish rice on the side as well, and a quarter of a lime, which is nice. You can kind of spritz that all over everything if you want to. Um, and I'm just going to, I'm going to dig right in. I am going to spritz the lime because yeah. whenever you've got it, you should absolutely employ the lime so you get some bright citrusy notes going on. And it's a soft taco, which I enjoy crunchy tacos oh. more than soft tacos, but that's okay. That's okay. Here we go. Bottoms up. Zing. Okay. So the pickled onions. Woo. Vinegar for days. Oh. Um, the pickled onions, but good. Good. It'll wake you up. If you're having like a sleepy theme park day have those onions they'll they'll get you going um it's good it's not i want to use a word here rhino i know it's not one of your don't favorites. do it don't. let me take one other nibble first i have to use it uh. the pork is moist <laughs> it absolutely is I'm, I'm sorry rhino but it's a good flavor is it like um, out of this world, no, and look at this bite. I took the wrong bite, friends. <laughs> I took the wrong bite. I'll be having this bite next. Um, but so far, so good. Absolutely add the lime because I think it needs it. Let me taste these black beans while well, I got you here. Get some of that queso fresco. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. They have a nice pork taste to them, actually. So it said that they were topped with pork. I think they've also been, um, they've incorporated some pork into uh, the, the making of the black beans. So I like those, actually. Those aren't a throwaway. I'm going to continue eating, and I'll have more thoughts, I'm sure. All right, we also got a beverage. It is the strawberry lemonade slushie yes. for $6.49. I have poured half of it in Rhino's cup, so we're going to try it together. Here we go. Oh, mm. I love slushies. I love them so much. I love them even more in a Disney park. You know what's really good about this is I was, I'm not, I have food anxiety about stuff and mm -hmm. like slushies and stuff like that sometimes stressed out so i'm happy we're splitting it but i was also i thought it was gonna be like super tart and it's actually pretty well balanced it's you're like, exactly right it's got like i can taste the lemon but it's not like type where like you know you have it in like hurts your throat yeah like, i don't i agree with that i i'm not always the biggest lemonade fan for that reason yeah sometimes like, it's too much of the sugar or too tart yes or something. yeah like i'm thirstier than i was mm -hmm. before i started drinking it 
but no, this is good. Mm. This is a good slushing. Yeah, this is like surprisingly good. Mm. I think this again. Mm -hmm. All right, it is dessert time. And we, I'm sure we have thoughts about our entree, but our dessert is here and we need to enjoy it or eat it. Hopefully we'll enjoy it. It is the mint chocolate chip cheesecake. It is $5.79. And it is the only dessert listed on the menu. Is that correct? Yeah, that, I have, a, I have the menu open right here and it literally just has mint chocolate chip cheesecake. Chocolate cheesecake topped with dark chocolate Ooh, ganache okay. and whipped mint chocolate uh, chip cream. I like, I was telling Rhino earlier, I like how it looks like ice cream. Like it just looks like fun. Yeah, it's oh. interesting. It looks like it has a crust, but I think that's just the cheesecake. I think you're right. Yeah. I think you're right. Okay, so we're going to dig in and... Just see. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's my word. Thank you. Here we go. What do you think? I like the, I like the, uh -huh. all the mint is coming from the, the whip, the topping. Yep. Um, and it gives a strong, very nostalgic uh -huh. mint chocolate chip, like Andy's mints. I agree. It's giving me that a lot. I and agree. I think that's the star of this video. I agree. I could smell it as I brought the fork up to my face yeah. to eat it. Like, there's the mint. And it's funny you say Andy's candies. Like, Brian and I have a jar of Andy's candies <laughs> that we keep filled on our counter, our yeah. kitchen counter. And we each go and have one every night. <laughs> Maybe two. <laughs> you do you. I mean, do what you must. But I agree with you. Um, and here's the thing. True confession time. Uh, cheesecake isn't my favorite. I eat it. I yeah. have gone to the factory of cheesecakes. <laughs> I've, been to the <laughs> I've been to the factory. I've eaten the cheesecakes at the factory. Um, this is a nice cheesecake for yeah. those who don't necessarily like cheesecake, I'm going to say, because it doesn't taste overwhelmingly like cheesecake. No, it is, it's definitely, and it, it texture wise, it's definitely like in the, I'd say, medium between like a really light and fluffy and somewhere between that and the really dense type yes. of cheesecake. Yeah. So it, it definitely almost threw me when when we got to the bottom. Yeah. I was like, oh, this is very much like... Um, almost like a mousse. Yes, mousse. Almost. Yeah, yeah. So, um, anyhow. Yeah. We've got more dessert to eat here. We'll wrap it up outside. All right, we're leaving our trash on the table. And I feel awful. I know, we both feel bad. All right, Rhino, so we're done with the meal. Highlights, lowlights, what do you think? Um, I think the, obviously the the slushy, I think mm -hmm. was, was very good, really enjoyed yeah. that. Definitely yep. on a hot day, that's a return to it. Yep. Um, I like the dessert, mm -hmm. the sandwich was okay. Mm -hmm. I said to you um, when I was finishing the sandwich, I thought the salad was its saving grace, the the farro um, and uh, arugula salad because mm -hmm. it was fairly hearty. There was a lot to it. It was pretty tasty, um, okay. and I really enjoyed that. But then I was like, you know, that really I feel like added to that price of um, you know being just under thirteen dollars. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, you know what, it's pretty affordable. It's good. But you and I were talking, and I think you were you put it best when you were like, I don't think this place knows what it wants to be anymore. It, it has yeah. a really weird personality. I don't know that it has personality. Yeah. Like back in the day, I feel like we knew what this location was. And now it is just this weird conglomeration. And I think it's gotten lost in the shuffle. We've got, we've got uh, Docking Bay 7. Yeah. In Galaxy's Edge. Uh, Bronto Roasters. You exactly. Know. Yeah. And the the lunch lunch box. Box. Yeah. And you just have so many more choices. And back in the day, this was like it. This was well, the think, one. Thinking as the theme or the theme park itself finds a new identity mm -hmm. is that it's like what you said, lost on shuffle. Because I know the whole thing was this was supposed to be the break room, right? Yeah, like because this yeah. was supposed to be like the studio, and mm -hmm. so that's where like all the executives and everybody's having their, you know, their lunch and things like that. And so I feel like be, that's not really what this park is about anymore. Mm -hmm. it, it's more like themed movie lands and stuff like that. And so. I think this is really the last remnant. I would say this and Backlot Express are oh, the last remnants yeah, yeah, yeah. of that no, sort right. of 
theming that like when you really sit and think about them, they don't really make any sense anymore. And I mean, I don't mean to talk about Backlog Express because I don't even remember the last time I ate there either. But I was going to say I, I could I would categorize that as lost in the shuffle as well. Yeah. They've tried to do they've not even done a retheming. They've done a reworking of the menu over the years. Like they've added to it, but still it's the burger with things on top of it. It's it's still not as it doesn't get the love that some of the other places get. Yeah. And we you mentioned it. This is a cavernous location. Yeah. It's huge and it's got air conditioning and it's a counter service. Um yeah, and that's the thing and I am like it, 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 we were in there for our review our, our dining experience at the height of the day. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of crazy to me that there was just one register open. Yes. It, and uh, you know even with mobile order but nobody was mobile ordering mm -hmm. and I had never seen it where it was literally maybe made generously yeah. I would say half of. Yeah. And that's like I was like that's wild to me. So I'm like, you know, what do you do? Do you turn it into some that medium ground somewhere between, um, you know, Hollywood and Vine and Brown Derby yeah. somewhere in there where you just have like, because other than other than sci-fi diamond, there's not really. I mean, prime time. Oh, prime time. I forgot about prime time. But like just like a sort of basic, mm -hmm. you know, sit down, yeah. maybe a fa fast casual. I don't know. Or that's yes. what it is. I don't yeah. know. It's, so it, it's something where it could use some love. Like that, no, absolutely. My um, my pork carnitas tacos, I loved. That was so tasty, especially with the addition of the pickled onions and the avocado salsa verde. That just really added some nice notes to it. I told you some care had been taken yeah. in, in, in crafting that dish. I loved the pork taste of the black beans. I think that added an extra layer. So for me, for eleven forty nine, that yeah. was a really good deal. I feel like you had, that was like kind of a hard to make because I tried the pork too, mm -hmm. and there, you know I I know maybe in the video or the pictures and everything it looks a little small, but there there was a big yeah no doubt. each of those tacos had a good amount of that meat, and then the big helping of the rice and the beans on yep. too, and it was I tried a little bit of each of it, and I was like, this is good. Yeah, 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 yeah. and and we've also got the taste of the mint chocolate chip mm -hmm. cheesecake in our mouths yeah. right now. I'm happy with that. Yeah. Um, like you said, I loved that mint chocolate shit yeah. on top. Yeah, the the, 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 the the frosting on the top mm -hmm. was like the highlight of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't, that, I don't know if I'd knock down the door to come back for no. it, but like I'm glad we had it. Yeah, yes. yeah, I agree, I agree. So the question goes to you all, the viewers. Please let us know what your go-to counter service location is here in Hollywood Studios. Where would you recommend that your BFF goes when they're down here? Please let us know. I can't wait to have that conversation with you in the comments. Um, as always, if you have enjoyed this video, please consider liking it. Please, <laughs> please consider <laughs> subscribing. To the channel that would be wonderful and hit that notification bell so that you get a heads up every time i put up a new video that would be amazing um also follow me on instagram for fun in between the videos at denny underscore sunderly i'd love to hang out with you there rhino my friend yes if the friends want to be able to watch more of you where can they do so um well i also have an instagram and that is rhino r y n o one one eight five and um you know, obviously there's the disc and somebody just yelled at me. And then I also do my own YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash Ryan Clavin. I don't know Ryan. why I cannot get them to switch it to Rhino1185, which is my handle on all social media, because I started it with my 12 year old email and it oh. won't let me switch the thing over. So I'm working on it. It just sounds but so official. I know, Ryan. it's a very, like, it's like, oh, it's like Ryan. Either that or you're in trouble. You know? Yeah, it's a very like, yeah, I get the Ryan John Clavin. Like, I should have just threw my middle <laughs> name in there, too, but it's fine. Yeah. So I'm awesome. over there at live streams, fun stuff, fun the food, and things like that coming up. So, yeah. Very cool. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. Yeah. I love that. Please make sure to follow Rhino and all that he does. Thank you so much for joining me for this. Oh, thank this you for having joy. me. I loved it. Yeah, and thank ab you. Absolute joy. Hey, any meal with you is a good meal. Oh, bless you. <laughs> Likewise. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you're having a great one. Uh, whatever you're doing, take good care. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.